Hi, my name is Matilda. My name is uh, Christian, and we get trolled because my girlfriend is trans. You are gay. Incorrect, but okay. I hate you. Just very <laughs> plain. <laughs> very, very, very to the point. <gasps> Should I say that? Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. You look great. Nah. Yeah, you do. We're here to read the harshest online comments that we get. I don't have any reason to date a guy with a wig <laughs> and heels who tries so hard to act like he's typical woman. What's a typical woman? Also, this is not a wig. Yeah, yeah it's not a wig. No, they're always so misogynistic as well. Yes, young lady trans woman. <laughs> trans, uh, trans women are men. An open wound is not a vagina. Okay. Pretty face does not make you a woman. You think I'm pretty? A few comments that I get is that I'm an it, which is yeah. also like very contradictory because sometimes they can say like it's a man, and I'm like, yeah. what? If you believe that I'm a man, why are you, why aren't you saying he's a man? Right. Like counterfeit. That's all. Short and precise. Women just love it when you compare them with inanimate objects. Mm -hmm. We have been together for seven, eight? Eight, I eight think. Eight years, yeah. yeah. We met online. And we got engaged last summer. Yeah. Love the ring. Not my nails at the moment, but yeah. <laughs> I realized I was trans when I was 15. When I was 18, I started HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. And then I had all my surgeries and everything like that, maybe 10 months later. You know, I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have had the surgery, I don't think that I would be here today, if I'm going to be, if I'm going to be honest. You didn't know that I was trans when we started talking. No. So when I first learned uh, about her being trans, she was pretty upfront about it. She told me, I think the first conversation we ever had. And I remember not really reacting to it. I didn't feel like it was a big deal. You were so okay with it and I, and that made me feel better. It didn't change or never has changed how I feel about you. Thank you. <laughs> that easy. That easy. The most common insult I get is that I'm a gay man. The ones that I do get are basically the same. Come up with something new. <laughs> if you want to spread hate, at least make it interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Is first, this a good one? Uh, this is a good one. Let's ask CSI. The know? TV show, uh, CSI. So, yeah. Let's pretend a transgender woman hiker dies and isn't found for a year. The CSI folks roll up and have to try to identify the remains. The DNA will show that the person is a 30-year-old male. Oh my god, I have to detransition because CSI will think that I'm a male. Oh my god. You saved me. You saved me from so much heartache. Thank you. <laughs> I work as a content creator and influencer, I guess. When I first told people that I was trans online, it was a pretty mixed reaction. I was really apprehensive about yeah, yeah. telling. I haven't been completely honest, I guess. I was born in a male body. I always felt like something was incredibly wrong with me. I mostly got a lot of love, but I also got a ton of hate from people. What hurts the most is when people are lying. Sometimes, they say things, they're just like completely untrue. They're spreading false information. Yeah, they're spreading they're... false information, but about me. You haven't done any of the surgeries. Like, what? You have no idea what no, I've done. Exactly. Or How like, you know that? I get angry. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to this guy talk is like fingernail on chalkboard. But you're still listening. Listening to this is so... Turn it off, Hank. Right, Turn why are you even here? <laughs> You don't even go here. <laughs> um, a lot of these comments just really leave you speechless. I definitely find people online being more judgmental and they're more close to hatred or like anger, I guess. I've never, ever 
received hate in real life. I mean, I have received some weird questions, some people just being a bit rude, but I've never received the amount of hate I get online. I think people are just cowards. I do remember a few comments from one person in particular, a really disgusting and vile comments, death threats and so on. And this person, whenever I blocked them, they just made new accounts. They just kept on coming back. I was a bit afraid because they also got a hold of my personal number. I was thinking about reporting it to the police, but then they stopped, so I just didn't. Through social media, you have made a positive impact on a lot of people as well. That's a really sweet thing to yeah. say. Thank you. <laughs> I do get comments sometimes that I'm the reason behind people just having the courage to tell their parents and their friends that they are trans. I get so many beautiful comments and messages back saying that I'm an inspiration to other people and I'm so, so grateful for all the support and everything. It does make it worthwhile knowing that I do something good, even though I get, you know, the hate and so on. I know that these beautiful comments are worth more than the few hate comments I get. And also it's like, it can be educational yeah. for a lot of people, I think. A lot of the hate that we, or mostly you receive, it stems from they stem lack of from, knowledge. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So just providing an educational platform hopefully can combat some of the, the ignorance that's out there. Yeah. Good answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.